it did it. Now I gotta figure out how to place this. Um, I'm gonna have to get some books out or something on how to make this easier to see. But what I'm excited about is I'm in portrait view, not, or not, I'm in landscape view, not portrait view. I'm never in landscape view. But apparently I had to unlock my phone rotation to do it. And I didn't realize that. So I tried it out and here we go. So it's a bright and early morning. I'm not sure how many will make it on this morning. Um, oh, good morning, Darcy. I'm so excited you're here. Um, I just decided, I think I might be doing more lives during the morning. And I think I need to just realize that going live might be easier for me than making videos in this season. So let's see if I did this right. No. I need one more. I need one more. So a little coffee chat this morning. I got plenty to do. I don't know about you. How is your leading up to Christmas going? See, I'm like, you know, everybody's got a little wood block, right, in their part. Oh, good morning, Lori. I'm sitting here, bed having coffee. Glad to see you. So, yes, I've had my um, coffee. Let's see. Oh, that's kind of good. It's not spectacular. I'm so sorry. Yes, I'm still wrapping presents. Orville, go get me. Go get me that other piece of wood over there. Orville and I did that. Did you see that? I'll have to show it to you. Um, oh, here. I got it, baby. Let's show what they did. What we did. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? So it's paper. Of course. It is paper. And it spins. It was hard to put together. I won't lie. But it came from this book right here. Um, it came from this one. Now, we got this one at Ollie's, so I think it might have been a misprint because there were some errors in it. And, of course, somebody did pick the hardest one right off the bat. But it's really cool. Um, it's like $30 on Amazon. So, in the beginning, see, this is why I like portrait. It gives you, like, information. Like, so here's a steamboat, right? It gives you information, and then it shows you how to build it somewhat. And then when you get to the back, at the end, here's all the parts to build the steamboat, which it was nice. <laughs> it was nice. So, um, it is not that age. It's more like my age, I really think, or like a high school something or another because i'm going to see if i can readjust this one more time much better um it was more it was older and it was definitely very detailed oriented you're just gonna stand back there and dance the only one up the only one up this morning at all but um it said two hours. It took us how many days? About four. I don't think it was four. It might have been three. Two or three. It took days, not hours for us. But, you know, then again, we weren't just isolated. You're going to make me crazy. You need to go. You don't need to watch yourself dancing in the in the screen, you crazy thing. Um, so, let's see. Things going on. So, let's get the big part. Instagram. I, my last post on Instagram was I'm deleting the app. Um, so yes, I deleted the app off my phone. I deleted the app. I deleted, not only did I delete Instagram off my phone, I deleted Facebook off my phone. I did not, however, delete, do not kick my fridge open with your feet. He's like, you need to get back to your to your, to your video. Um, and you need to hurry up and get out of that refrigerator and stop leaving the door wide open. Thank you. Thank you. It's over there. Good luck to your thing. 
Um, I did. I deleted the apps. I did not delete the account. So from what I understand, you definitely have to get in there and see it yourself. As of the twentieth, which was what the twentieth was yesterday or Monday, Sunday. As of Sunday, on Instagram. And I believe Facebook, anything, you running the app, they can then monitor your audio, they're monitoring your video, and they have all these great reasons why they're doing it for the benefit of society. And to be honest, anytime I hear for the benefit of society, it makes me nervous. It makes me so nervous. I just, I'm not, I'm not to be a conspiracy theorist, not that I haven't read, um, Go to scripture to keep your heart motivated on homeschooling. I need one. I need one. Ooh. Ooh, let me have a drink of coffee on that one. But, um, so I just, seeing those things going on, I decided to delete the apps off my phone. I still have the apps. I just simply go to Google to look. I haven't uploaded, and I have great pictures to upload. Um on to Instagram to share. Yeah, I'm I'm I was caught off guard. I seen it the 19th and I was just like, "What?" And I read 1984 by George Orwell in high school. Do not grow weary in doing good somewhere in Gal um Galatians. I'm going to write that down. I got to find my thing. Do not Grow weary in doing good. That's a good one. Mm. Yeah. Haven't figured out how to upload pictures to the gram from my computer. You can do that. I don't know if you can do that. See, that's where I run into. I'm not sure you can do that. But I found on Facebook, Google, I could, or not Facebook, Google, Facebook, I can. And Google, I don't know. Instagram, I don't know. Do not grow weary on doing good. I had to write it down. Um, I, I haven't figured that out yet at all. Let me show you, though. The other day, we did graham crackers. And <laughs> if I can figure out how to post the pictures, I will. Here's what's left of our graham crackers. Let me turn this screen around. Here's what's left. This, my daughter already started eating hers. But, um, yeah, see, I have little nibblings of children coming through. There's mine. I, I decided to go for a missions church look. Um, these are all made out of graham crackers. And I'm going to tell you, it's the recipe. It is a frosting recipe that makes it at all possible. The frosting recipe is um, four egg whites, a teaspoon of cream of tartar. You whip it until it gets stiff, and then you add four cups of powdered sugar. The best icing ever. And then we had a little pipettes from... Um, Oh, 9N, 9A. Oh, wait, wait. I got to get in there. Oh, Galatians 6, 9. Okay. Let's see. I don't know how to... Um... Okay, so I have it. Usually roll icing is best. That sounds like our recipe. All right, I'm trying to get... Um... To show, oh, maybe I have to do it here. So I'm not used to, um, there, I'm gonna make everybody visible so I can see it. All right, all right, I got that Facebook stuff or YouTube, whatever. I can't, I'm having a hard time seeing the messages. Um, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm doing really great here. I know. Hmm. I, oh, I don't know if I like this. 
Okay. Oh, oh, now I can see it. Whew, I'm going to have to get a computer out or something. Go back to the top. So, hi to Lori. Darcy's still wrapping presents. Our Christmas celebrations are not as busy and full as they used to be. And it seems empty and lacking in some ways, but good in others. I'm trying to look on the bright side. Yes. Um, Miss Rose is here. Good morning, Trish. Love all your videos. Cheers from Tracy. Whoa, I had no idea about Facebook. Do not grow weary in Galatians. I haven't figured out how to upload pictures yet. All right. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. I like that one. Okay. Morning, Sodbuster. Morning, Cosmic. Um, all right, so I don't forget what I'm doing. <laughs> so I haven't been able to um, get things upload. I haven't even gone there yet on Instagram, but I do want to put on there. Um, I was walking with my friend and, um, this one right here on Instagram running redeemed. I hope you can read that running redeemed. Mm -hmm. Running redeemed. And she is on Instagram and she actually has like Bible scripture writing plans, which I think are phenomenal. Um, and that's one of the things I kind of started making myself a list of what do I want to work on me with? And not really me like in a narcissistic way, but as stay-at-home moms, we kind of lose self so quickly. I got to make sure. Let's see. I got to turn because I realize I'm going to have kids coming down the stairs. I will show you real quick. See my stockings? Um, I have kids coming down. I'm doing a live video, just FYI. Okay. Um, and just working, like, what are things I want to do? What are things that it's so easy as a stay-at-home mom or a mom, period, to just not, just to put yourself on the back burner to the point, like, there's nothing. You know, there's nothing left for you. And it, it comes up so much in my health. Um, he keeps, do you see that? He keeps making his way over there. No, now he's going to start bringing toys. Mm-hmm. What do you have? No, put that up. Now, do not. Do not. Thank you. Okay. Because that's real life. But, always putting yourself on the back burner. And it's definitely shown up in my health making time to exercise, um, being sure to, um, when you go wake up your, your sister and remind her that she has a dentist appointment in an hour, sister. Lottie, um, and so I'm telling you what, quit distracting me. Stop it. Do not, do not. See what I mean? I can't even get through a conversation. And there's only two of them up, not the six. So one of the things I'm going to start working on is working on a Bible writing plan. I'm not, I don't know if I want to do, um, Trish, back in 2012, I grabbed a black and white composition book and just started copying scripture. I love it. I know you've been doing that. And I love seeing the motivation in it. I joined the online mentor group named Big Life and Pamela Grimm's I'm trying to, oh, I got to scroll down. Grimm's, and she does morning devotions and goal setting using planner and hard copy or digital. It really helped me. Oh, I like that, Jessica. Yeah, I've been working on a couple of um, ones. One of the things I decided to go back and do, I, you know, I have this love, weird relationship with planners. I keep, and I've been kind of dealing with the fact that when I look back, to when I was in high school in my early adulthood, we didn't have this. I think YouTube was around, but it wasn't a big thing. And I mean, we had Napster. That was a big deal. We had Napster where we're unfortunately legally copying music um, without understanding that. But um, we didn't have it. And there was so much... I wanted to do, and it was so hard to get information. I that like that's the big part. I remember 
trying to learn to do things and you'd have to find somebody if you were lucky and read books and I wasn't a big avid reader and um searching for that information and you can't learn anything and now we have just so much robust information and I find like when I didn't know how to do things I was actually more creative than now that there's so much information I mean granted I do some some neat things but I find myself actually now, before I was paralyzed because I didn't have the information, now I'm so paralyzed because I have so much information that, um, good morning, Sarah, I just find myself not really active, not really doing, almost tranquilized um, by Instagram, tranquilized by YouTube, tranquilized by Facebook, and I look and I'm like, I don't know how long I've been on here, but I know I've been on here so much. I don't even know what I've, and I don't even know what I looked at at all, at all. Um, so I've been kind of dealing with those aspects and just trying to make a, like a goal, setting goals, um, and doing things. And some of that was planning. So I'm going to give you, I know I'm going to probably get into more of it. I bought last year a Hobonichi, this little thing. I haven't quite used it to its extent. I will say I do like the fact that you could watercolor in it a lot. Call it going for a scroll. That's right. It is just scrolling. I just scroll. And it's so funny because it's a little bit more cumbersome having Facebook and Instagram on Google versus its own app but it prevents the scroll. It's not, it's, you have to make more effort. Um, some of the stuff I've done in this, um, maybe approach this as what will help you and your growth in your relationship with God. Yes, that's where I've been and the distractions of Satan. Um, I've journaled in here. <laughs> I've tracked um, my canning in here. And, you know, this, this week, um, you know, I actually use it like a planner. And I realized, you know, I'm always trying to fit my, I'm always trying to fit my life into the highlight wheels of somebody's perceived perfection. Whether it be planning, whether it be anything else, you know, I'm always trying to fit their perception of their perfection and it's like, what? So I decided to go with a Hobonichi for next year. And I'm really liking this because it can go. But, all right. So, and I've been, and I like that you have back parts. But I wanted to share with you a verse today. I really wanted to share with you a verse. Because this was brought up in Sunday school about um, what is your favorite verse? Like, what verse holds you through? And I'm going to tell you mine, but this is somebody else's verse. And I loved it so much. I had to, I had to apply, I had to put it in my book and I'm going to put it in next year's book. I'm, next year's book. I'm so excited. It will be in next year's book. All right. So my go-to verse is Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of mind will transcend all understanding and guide your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. All right. So first off, you might be like, whoa, did that just come out? You like put it in. Okay. I did not write that 10 million times. In fact, I would, it's hard for me not to sing it because I learned that scripture through song, through seeds of worship and seeds, like there's a whole set and they did a really good job, this, this group. And, um, they put it through music. So if you really want to help yourself guide and memorize scripture seeds of worship i think you can buy it on um amazon or something it is phenomenal because it really goes don't be anxious about anything but through prayer and petition with giving present your quest to god and the peace of mind will transcend all understanding and guide your heart and your mind in christ jesus philippians 4 6 and 7 
So anyways, that's how I memorize that. So please don't think like I've got something like amazing. I don't. I just, I use that. And 10 years of having a baby, nursing, or being pregnant, 10 straight years, four kids, postpartum anxiety was pretty much my debilitating thing. It was, I didn't get off the couch a lot. I didn't move a lot. My energy was so low because of it. You're making me crazy. Um, it'd almost be easy if you stood over there and bothered me and not there because it's very distracting. Um, and so that was like where I went to rest my soul when I was just inundated. So that was my scripture. But this is somebody else's scripture. And it's Colossians 1, 9 through, I don't know. I don't know. I forgot to write that part. Um, it's Colossians 1, 9. And he uses this for praying with others. So um, this is how it reads in the NIV. I'm going to read it how it reads. And I'm going to show you like, this is how it reads in the Bible. And this is how I rewrote it. And blue is where I would insert your name. Okay. So Colossians 1, 9. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened in the, with all the power according to his glory so that you may have great endurance and patience and giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. For he has rescued us from the dom domin dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. So that was Colossians 1, 9, and it goes until that part. So this is how I changed it. I'm going to use my son who's driving me crazy and I'm going to insert his name into it. So when I pray, and I really like this, so when I pray, you know, like sometimes it's like, okay, I'm going to pray for you. And then I'm like, what am I praying about? And it's like, you know, God says like, just, just his scripture, his scripture is enough. Just give him back his words. Um, <laughs> this is what I say. Dear Lord, I ask you to fill Orville with the knowledge of your will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Holy Spirit gives so that Orville may live a life worthy of you. Lord, of you, Lord, and please, you, Lord, in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of you, Lord, being strengthened with all the power according to your graciousness, glorious might, so that Orville may have great endurance and patience, and giving joyful thanks to you, Father, who has qualified Orville to share in the inheritance of your holy people in your kingdom of light. For you have rescued Orville from the dominion of darkness and brought Orville into the kingdom of the Son you love, in whom Orville has redemption, the forgiveness of sin. Oh my goodness. I just, it's one of those, um, I did this one time with like, for God so loved the world that he saved his only forgotten son, for whoever shall believe in him shall not perish and have alternate um, everlasting life. And I, and there's something so powerful about just saying like, for God so loved Trish that he gave his only forgot, forgotten son so that Trish may not perish, but Trish will have eternal life. You know, just putting your name in there, like, you know, the beauty of the pronouns, putting your name in there, owning it for you, owning it for those you pray for is just oh, so huge. So yes, I written it, I wrote it, I written it down, I wrote it down. It's still early for me. So that's Colossians 1 9. And that's all I did. So then, and I just prepared my heart so I'm ready to pray for somebody. And 
I'm a mom. I have mom brain. I can't think of things a lot of times. And I feel like this is an easy way. In the same way, the Spirit also helps our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we should, but the Spirit himself intercedes. Ooh, ah, ah, no, 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 no. I didn't want to put you in timeout. Um, 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 put user in timeout. No, no. Okay, I'm going to read it. I didn't mean to put Sodbuster in timeout. I'm figuring out how to do it. Oh my goodness, I'd never put Sodbuster in timeout intentionally. All right, I got to find my page that I'm writing these good things down. I think it was 20. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so Romans. I know I can't even see anything that's being typed now either. 826. It says, In the same way, the Spirit also helps our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we should, but the Holy Spirit intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. There you go. So that's that's Ephesians 8.28. Um, let's see. I can't believe I did that to Sodbuster. Please forgive me. Um, yeah, so that's Colossians 1.9. Um, all right. Lori says... God's word, powerful, active, living, sharper than two edged swords, dividing between bone and marrow. Love this verse. So that's what I had. And I just wanted to hop on here for a little bit. I have to get kids motivated. We have dentist appointments. Um, I do want to get back with you. Maybe I'll be able to, today's Tuesday. I might be able to get back on Christmas Eve. Orwell's, Orville, Orville. <laughs> I didn't name him after George Orwell, I promise. <laughs> It's Orvel, Orvel with a V. But I do recommend if you haven't, um, if you haven't read George Orwell's 1984, this is a great time to read it. Um, remember, it's written in the 50s. And with a 50 mindset, but wow, did he make a lot of predictions. Oh no, it's funny. Actually, Darcy, it's funny. I've never thought about how close their the names are. Um, get it on audiobook. Get it on audiobook. Um, I think it's pretty inexpensive. But it's definitely almost a manuscript to prepare us for the times of how overreaching things can become. And I always thought, you know, Big Brother would, you know, so like Big Brother's the government. And then as Google got going, I'm like, maybe Big Brother's Google. And then as Facebook and Instagram, maybe Mark Zig, whatever his name is, is Big Brother. And then it's like, maybe they all work together as Big Brother. And another good one, and it's a quick one. And I actually listened to this one on audio because I'm more of an audio book listener. I don't always have the attention span or the focus to read without a scroll. I won't lie. I will read a lot through scrolling, but... I almost read too much that I don't remember anything I read, but you need to read Animal Farm. <laughs> and it really depicts, um, yes, all that is happening in our world should not be a surprise to us. Um, how else do we get to the end of the story? Thankfully, the end of the story is a good ending. Yes, it is a good ending. Um, and that is where my hope lies. It's a good ending. Um, but also it gives the concept of more equal. Animal Farm does an amazing job of explaining the more equal and um, in the conditioning. And it's a, it's just amazing the, how to say it. Sometimes we think that history is like this, like, oh, such an innocent age, I had no idea. Sin was there too. Sin was in history. Sin has always been in history. So, the concept of man and what man will do to suppress, to conquer, to, to achieve in his own sinfulness, in his own whatever, is not a new concept. The technology that we have that they can use to use it is new. The concept of what they want to do is not. It's not a new belief. It's, it's been here. And so, but it still amazes me, like, how it's going to be forever relevant of just 
how good ideas and how we're going to do this for the betterment of everybody will is a good campaign slogan for what comes out. So anyway, that is that. So the scripture we did today was um, Galatians 6, 9 was brought to us about do not grow weary on doing good and do not give up. So that's definitely a good homeschool one. Um, Romans 8, 26, you know, that caused me to put sod buster in time out. I'm so sorry. Um, Colossians 1, 9 about praying for others. And then Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Um, Philippians 4, 6, and 7 about do not be anxious. And then I definitely told you about seeds of worship, seeds of praise, seeds of and they set music to memorizing Bible scripture, which is fun. And the kids typically love it. And then <laughs> running redeemed, uh, Instagram running redeemed for um, like a scripture writing plan. And so I'm excited about starting that soon. I'm kind of starting that now um, and getting things going. I will say, let's see. Oh, I'm going to, I don't know. I'll talk to you Christmas Eve about the things I'm going to do for Christmas. I'm excited. Um, we do a charcuterie board and I'm making a seafood chowder. As my neighbor says, all the bottom feeders, all the bottom feeders. Um, actually, I should send this to her. So my sweet neighbor, who we love so much, our grandma Marie, she moved. And so she was right there on the corner. And so she's moved all the way to Maine. So we're like still like, oh. but I was telling her, I was talking to her the other day and I was like, um, oh, I'm going to make a seafood chowder with like, you know, and it's, it's one of the bags from Aldi's not yeah Aldi's where it's like, um, it's got calamari, it's got oysters, clams, octopus and stuff. And she's like, those are bottom feeders. <laughs> and I'm like, mm-hmm. And she's a main. She doesn't like lobster, so that's so funny. So anyways, I'm going to let you go, um, <laughs> and I will be back with you soon. I'm glad that you didn't mind making it to a early morning coffee chat, which it probably will become more of. And for those that came back to do the replay, thank you for staying with me. So I'm going to pray over you. Hi, Lottie. You want to pray with us? All right. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the time and the technology that you give us to come together, dear Lord. Um, we definitely see it's the it we are coming to the end of time that you have said there are things that are going on that that do make us anxious and it makes us nervous. We know that how it how it ends and we know the destination and the plan that you have and the protection you give. But dear Lord, sometimes the journey is terrifying. Lord, but we know that we have it in you. We know that we wouldn't be the first one in those journeys, dear Lord. We are thankful for the for the for the just just the preciousness of your word that you give us, dear Lord. Thank you for the ability to come and share our hearts and to share your word as comfort to one another, dear Lord. Um Lord, be with those that are struggling today. Lord, be with those that need the protection. Be with those that need the filling, the filling, the lifting to go through the day. Dear Lord, be with each and every one that comes through here. Lord, for those who do not know you, Lord, bring them to John 3.16. Lord, show them to accept you, just to accept your son Jesus who died on the cross, to believe that he died for their sins and to confess their sins through Lord and accept him into your heart so that he they may be guided by the Holy Spirit to find you and seek you and learn you and know you. In your son's precious name I pray, amen. All right. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. There, hey, why don't you put your he little head in there? No. Look how much she's grown. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I will see you all soon. Peace out. We, what do you? You look like you're like a little. You're gonna yeah, eat my peace eat out. my. That thing, what you do? Peace out. I don't know. I used to do it like that. Peace out. Um, peace out. Do that face, Peace out. How many years? How many years have I? I think five years. 
I've been YouTubing five years. Five years. I YouTubed over there before yeah. the house flooded. And, um, there are 17 people watching. I know, no, that, that house, the river house, um, when we went back there, I tried to start, like, my very first videos were no, so I'm dorky. Doing, like, um, that but that was before we moved back over, no, over here. I, no, I was well, like, kindergarten books. You were videoing me. First grade? I don't know. No, I was little. How long did you end the video? Merry Christmas Merry Christmas. Y we will see you all soon. After we're done debating all these things. And I gotta get them ready for the out. dentist. Bye. Peace out.